A lot of times here we're accused of beating up on the Republicans. Well, Democrats have some problems too, and it's not just due to Donald Trump. Their poll numbers are headed toward the tank. Not much better than the GOP numbers. I'm joined by Katie Breslin. She's with the DC Young Democrats. Katie, thanks for joining us. Hey, I, I want you to hear these numbers here. I just pulled these uh, up. Uh, views of the Democratic Party uh, hit lowest mark in 25 years. 37% of Americans have a favorable view, and that's down from 44%, you know, mm. a few months ago. What's causing this? Well, I think that we need to fundamentally listen more. I think the Democratic Party is in a position, there's been a, some negative press, and that we need to be a party that listens to the concerns that obviously these poll numbers show. Does it go back into the Clinton campaign? Did it start back there? Did she stop listing back then in, in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, you think? Well, well, it doesn't really matter what happened then. Well, it does matter. We need to learn from that. But what I'm really interested in is that a lot of these stories have obviously caused a lot of feelings. And what I'm hearing and what I'm hoping for is that we invest in the parties, we invest in these states, and we really listen to what these voters are looking for in a candidate. Okay, um, just a couple of other uh, numbers I want to throw out here. Non-whites, 40 Eight percent, you know, favorable, you know, for Democrats. Yeah. That's that, that's an all-time low. Young people mm. under thirty-five, thirty-three mm. percent. You know, um, why why is that? Well, I think that means that young Democrats like myself and my colleagues in the Virginia Young Democrats, that yeah. we need to do a very good job uh, persuading our colleagues um, and our peers that the Democratic Party is capable of change, is capable of listening, and that it is the right uh, vehicle for us to make change coming forward. And one of the things I've learned about the uh, minorities, certainly African Americans and young people too, uh, that you may not go over and vote, you know, for, for the Republicans, but what you will do is sit out an election, mm. you know, and, and that's what we've done historically. Let me let me ask you about Donna Brazil because that's the talk today, not just among Democrats, sure. but Republicans are loving this. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it's like devouring your own. Donna Brazil today is making the rounds for this book that she wrote that says uh, the fix was in uh, that Hillary Clinton was controlling the uh, DNC, calling mm. the shots a year before the primaries, before she was the nominee. What has that done to the Democratic Party and to young people like yourself when yeah. you hear this? Well, it struck a nerve, right? We're seeing it all over the news, as you mentioned. Um, I do think it has a play on our favorability ratings. It's definitely been a part of those conversations. I've read so many think pieces about it. And I think that the fact that it's been such a narrative is not helpful or has not really helped uh, the young people have trust in the party. So what the party needs to come forward is to show that it is a transparent place, that there is a place for us there, and that they're willing to listen and hear from young people and hear from people of color specifically about the concerns that we have of our party. Okay, Donna Brazil, one of the stops she made today was on the CBS Morning News. Let's take a listen. So I, I felt obligated, as I told Bernie I would at the convention, that, that I would get to the bottom of it. And I found no instances that the party rigged the process. And I wanted to make sure that Bernie and his supporters understood. But your book does not seem to suggest that you think it was a fair fight. That's why I'm surprised to hear you say to Nora, no, it was a fair fight. You, your book seems to suggest that you are bitter, you're angry, and on top of all of that, you seem very hurt. But it doesn't seem like you think it was a fair fight, Donna. You even called Bernie to explain to him, I found the cancer here. That doesn't sound like so, you think so it's fair. So I'm, I'm also, first of all, I'm a member, I, I'm a member of the Democratic establishment in, in terms of, I'm on the Rules Committee. Mm -hmm. It is a fair fight. We don't set primary dates. They're set by the states. We set caucus dates. You called states. Bernie to tell him what? I, I called Bernie to explain to him that there was cancer that I could not destroy. What do you make of that? Uh, she's trying to sell books, got that. But also, this is an insider. This is somebody, I mean, she, she ran Al Gore's campaign. Uh, uh, she, again, she's the former chair of the Democratic Party. Uh, inside information. Nobody's refuting what, what, what she's saying here. They're questioning motives and that sort of kind of thing. I want to know what does that do, if anything, to motivate the base? Young people yeah. like yourself. Well, there's no doubt that Donna Brazil has spent her career working with the Democratic Party and she cares deeply about that. So I don't think that anything that she released was out of malintent or, or was um, created to uh, cause any ruckus in the Democratic Party. What I do think that she's exposing is the need to have people be involved in the process. Um, and I think that's something that she is, uh, she does deeply care about is getting more people involved in that. Well, and one of the things Donna Brazil said today is she could think of 50 
Democrats who are interested in running for president. Mm -hmm. I got a list. It doesn't even come close. Yeah. How many on your list? Oh, I think there's so many. And, you know, I think we would be better for having a very diverse array of candidates. I think of, and specifically young candidates. I think that there are a lot of really incredible young people that are, are looking at opportunities to run for office, not only president, but otherwise. And I think looking at those people as leaders in our party and listening to their input is really important. I, I think you're absolutely right. Yeah, young candidates and female candidates mm. also. Okay? <laughs> I think right. that's important. Thanks for coming on. Thank really you so much. You're Great, great to have you. All right.